Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new on this channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get notification. And if you like our content, please press like button, it really help us. And if you need video on some specific topic, please let us know in comment box. In this video, I have tried to cover all the things about Heart Communicator. So, in this video, you will learn why we need to connect 250 ohm resistor to transmitter when we do bench calibration of transmitter. In second section, you will learn about top 7 questions and answers on Heart Communicator. In addition to this, you will also learn how to change LRV and URV of smart transmitter by using Heart Communicator. Last but not the least, how to perform 4 to 20 mA calibration by using Heart Communicator. So, let's start the video with, one basic question, which is, why we need to connect 250 ohm resistor to transmitter for bench calibration. There are mainly two reasons to include 250 ohm resistor in the loop, while using Heart protocol. Firstly, 250 ohm resistor serves as an aid to get the signal back for the heart communicator. As we know, DC power supply has low pass capacitor filter which suppress analog signals like ripples. So, if there is no resistance between the power supply and transmitter, analog signal coming from the heart devices will be filtered out. And we won't be able to connect heart device to transmitter in this case. So, adding a resistor just provides impedance between the transmitter and the filter circuit, which help heart communicator to communicate with transmitter. First of all, let's start with one of the basic questions, Secondly, which is, 250 is ohm of resistor heart? is used to convert 4 to 20 mA analog is, output heart signal stands for transmitter highway addressable one to remote volt DC signal, which is required for DCS and PLC. Second question is, what is the heart technology? Let me explain you this thing by taking ohms large Heart is examples. a bi-directional communication protocol, which provides data access As between intelligent see, fields and the equation of and host law. systems. And host can be heart communicator or laptop. Transmitter's output is 4 mA. In and addition, 250 to this, ohm heart resistor communication in a can occur between two heart enabled devices. Now, put all these For values example, into equation. It can be occurred between the simple a math field devices and a control or monitoring system. You will get 1 volt DC as a result. Furthermore, now, the heart provides two real time transmitter's output channels. is 12 mA. One channel is for 4 to 20 milliamps. And if we put all these values signal, into equation, we will get 3 volt another DC channel as is for result. digital signal. Let's take the one 4 more to 20 milliamps signal carries the basic measurement for that. field devices Transmitter's in the output is 20 4 to 20 milliamps current loop. Now, put 20 milliamps and the host system converts into current equation signal to physical and do the value simple according math to parameters defined by heart software. You will get 5 volt DC as a result. For example, Host device converts 8 mA output of if field you put device any value of analog per signal into this equation, it converts into voltage on the other signal, side, which is digital information is communicated by encoding digital signal. And this is done by using frequency shift keying technique on the same 4 to 20 mA wiring used for analog communications. The digital signal provides different types information about the instruments, such as, present status of the device, diagnostics, instrument type, instrument make, sensor type, model number etc. In other words, the two communication channels altogether provide a complete, economical, and very powerful field communication solution, that is easy to use and configure. Third question is, what is the working principle of heart technology? The heart communication protocol uses frequency shift keying standard to superimpose low-level digital communication signals on the top of the 4 to 20 mA analog signal. This causes two-way field communication to take place, and makes it possible for additional information beyond just the normal process variable to be communicated to, and from a intelligent field devices. In addition to this, the heart protocol communicates at 1200 bit per second without interfering with 4 to 20 mA analog signal. And this allow the host application to receive more than two digital updates per second from the smart field device. Since the digital frequency shift keying signal is phase continuous, it does not interfere with the 4 to 20 mA signal. Now, Fourth and the most important question is, why do we need to include 250 ohm resistor in the loop while using heart protocol? 
there are mainly two reasons to include 250 ohm resistor in the loop. Firstly, 250 ohm resistor serves as an aid to get the signal back for the heart communicator. And secondly, 250 ohm resistor is also used to convert 4 to 20 mA analog signal into 1 to 5 volt DC signal, which is required for DCS and PLC. I have already made one separate video on this topic, you can watch this video by clicking on iCard. The fifth question is, what are the capabilities of a heart communicator? Firstly, the main purpose of heart communicator is to communicate with an instrument that uses the heart protocol. Secondly, it also provides various information such as instrument type, sensor type, model number etc. Third capability is that, heart gives you access to change upper range value and lower range value of smart transmitter. In addition to this, with the help of heart communicator, you can monitor process variable and signal values in milliampers. Heart communicator can also be used to reset and set the reading value. Furthermore, heart communicator can also be used to give the command to control valve at the time of auto and manual calibration. Last but not the least, it can also be used to calculate control valves equal percentage, linear, and quick opening. Sixth question is, what are the advantages of heart communicator? Firstly, heart communicator can be very useful to check the status of the field device remotely. Secondly, with the help of heart communicator, we can configure the field devices remotely, especially when the field device is in a hazardous environment. Last but not the least, heart communicator is designed for the work of field service technician. Last question is, which are the major heart communicator manufacturers? Emerson Process Management is the one of the major manufacturer of heart communicator. Emerson's Model 475 Field Communicator and AMS Trex Communicator are very popular. Secondly, Andrus and Hauser is also one of the major manufacturer of heart communicator. Andrus and Hauser's Model Expert SMT77, Expert SMT70, SWA70 are very popular. Yokogawa is also one of the manufacturer of heart communicator. And Fluke is also one of the manufacturer of heart communicator. First of all, let's start with how to connect heart communicator to transmitter. As you can see, this diagram shows how to connect the 475 field communicator to a heart loop. It is necessary to connect 250 ohm load resistor if less than 250 ohm resistance is present in heart loop. For example, when you calibrate the device on bench, it is necessary to connect 250 ohm load resistor to establish connection with transmitter. In this section, I am going to show how to set calibration range in smart transmitter by using heart communicator. First of all, turn on the heart communicator by pressing and holding the power button until the green light is on and the power key blinks. When device is on, from the main menu, tap the heart icon to start application. The 475 communicator will request the manufacturer's code and model number from the radar unit. This information is used to load device descriptor if one is installed on the heart communicator. And if the, the device descriptor is not installed, the 475 communicator will use heart universal and common commands to program the radar. As you can see, this message will appear when device descriptor is not found. Tap on yes button to proceed to home screen. The home screen displays primary variable, primary variable loop current, the calibrated lower range value, and the calibrated upper range value. First of all, let's learn how to change calibration values from the home screen. As you can see, Range can be changed directly by selecting menu item, which is PVLRV and PVURV from home screen. Selecting either item will cause the communicator to display the range calibration screen as shown in the right side image. As you can see, selecting the menu item, PVURV and PVLRV from the range calibration screen will change the display to an edit screen. 
and the edit screen will allow range to be entered for the URV and LRV as shown in this image. In addition to this, you need to be aware of unit of measure, which is shown next to current URV and LRV. In this example, it is inches H2O. After entering range, press enter button. As you can see, the change will not take effect until they are sent to the device. So, in order to send range to the device, tap the send button. Now, let's learn how to change calibration values by using device setup function. As you can see, first of all, select device setup function from home screen. In device setup menu, we can find various sub-menu options such as process variables, diagnostics or service, basic setup, detailed setup, and review. Select basic setup option, and press enter button. As you can see, basic setup option provides menus to change heart descriptive tags, unit of measure, range values, and primary variables damping value. Now, Select Range Values option and press Enter button. As you can see, Range Values menu has different options such as Upper Range Value, Lower Range Value, Unit of Measure, Upper and Lower Sensor Limits. Select PVURV and PVLRV menu to bring the edit screen. As you can see, when edit screen appears, you need to enter Upper Range Value and Lower Range Value. After this, Press Enter button to confirm this values. As you can see, the change will not take effect until they are sent to the device. So, in order to send range to the device, tap the Send button. Now, to change the unit of measure, select PV Unit option from Basic Setup menu. And select the unit, which you want to set for the device, and press Enter button to confirm this unit. 4 to 20 mA calibration can be done by using calibration menu from the diagnostic menu option. As you can see from the image, tap on diagnostic or service option to access calibration menu. Now, tap on calibration menu to access calibration menu. Calibration menu gives you two options. First option is apply values. This option gives you the choice to set the mA value for current measured value. For example, if the current measured value is 0 kPa, and you want to set as 4 mA for this range, then you need to select Apply Value option. The second option is Enter Values. This option gives you choice to enter the range manually. For example, if your pressure transmitter's range is 0 to 1000 kPa, and you want to set 4 mA for 0 kPa, and 20 mA for 1000 kPa, then you can do this thing by using this option. In this video, I will explain option number 1, which is Apply Value option. So, select Apply Values option, and you will be prompted to select 4 mA or 20 mA. Once you select 4 mA or 20 mA, you will prompted to apply new 4 mA or 20 mA input screen. In this example, I have selected 4 mA input screen. So, Apply new 4 mA input screen is displayed. Tap OK to go to next menu. As you can see from the image, present measured value is displayed on the top section. To use this value, select first option, which is the set as 4 mA value. And if the current measured value is incorrect, then adjust value to set point, and then select option 2. In this case, menu 2 will read the new value from the device. Select option 1 or 2 and press enter to confirm your selection. When you set 4 mA, it will cause the loop current to change to 4 mA. As you can see, changing the calibration values in device may affect the loop current. And warning screens like this will appear. Tap the OK to proceed with calibration change. After a calibration value has been changed on the 475 communicator, the change must be sent to the smart device to take effect. So, tap the send, which will write the new value in the device. So this is the simple and easy way to perform 4 to 20 mA calibration of smart transmitter by using heart communicator. 
Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this informative video. And if you have any questions about this video, then please feel free to ask me in comment box. And please like and share this video with your friends, if you think our content is informative for you and others.